Bibi. You don't want paint built up in these uh, little grout lines. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, for those of you that might be new here, we are still working through some finishing touches on our 1968 Playmore Model 140. And we're going to do a little bit of work still here on the kitchen cabinet. So last week we got all of our plumbing situated and I still have to do like another coat of poly on the uh, countertop and I need to also permanently affix the countertop to the uh, cabinet. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to do a backsplash here. So this isn't just a white wall behind the sink. And what we're going to do, we got a bunch of these little tile stickers. They're actually designed to go over existing tiles. We don't have any existing tiles there. And uh, I don't really want to just stick them straight to the wall. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint a piece of wood <laughs> and make it the same width as the countertop. And we're going to arrange these on the, these little tiles on there so that uh, it hopefully looks like we have a tile backsplash, even though we don't. I really like the way these look. I think they're gonna look really sharp in here. Uh, so fingers crossed that it's convincing enough that, that it works out. So first thing, I'm going to take some measurements and figure out how I need to make this thing. Okay, so my concern in just sticking these to a piece of wood and trying to space them out is that it won't look like there's actual grout lines there. They'll just look like stickers that are spaced out. So if I just take my table saw and I just barely make a cut on there so that it just kind of scribes a line. Then when I stick these down, I'm going to paint this this wood white, but then when I stick those down, that'll leave a sort of indented line showing through, and I think it should give the illusion of tile better. <laughs> with just one quick pass on there. Grout lines themselves look pretty convincing to me. And I'm going to put a second coat on it and then I'm going to give it a quick sand just to make it, you know, smooth it out. So the trick with doing this is that you don't want paint built up in these uh, little grout lines. You want them to actually look like real grout lines. So, you know, you kind of brush it on and then brush it out of those little grooves. I think after the second coat, those grout lines, or it's grout lines, will look uh, pretty convincing.
Okay, so one thing I've been needing to do is to attach this actually to the cabinet. So now that I've uh, got my extra coats of Wython Poly on the surface, I'm going to go ahead and drill a few pilot holes and run some screws up from the bottom that are short enough that they can grab this, but not so long they'll poke through the top of it. Okay. To be continued. Look at Jordy. Okay, so that's going to be how our backsplash goes, and then we'll have trim that goes around it. It's going to be half inch thick, so I just need to position this so. So I'm just going to attach it using some liquid nails that I had sitting around. The tube had gotten all gunked up, so I just cut it off. Turns out there's still uh, good stuff in the tube, a little bit left. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on the back and we're going to press it into place and let that be glued. Just... So I'm just going to leave that there to set for a little while and um, get some of my trim ready. Okay, so for trim around this, I'm going to do just a piece of this uh, plywood, half inch plywood that's been cut down. It was just a piece of scrap that was in the basement. We're just going to line it like that. Catherine got this idea from another YouTube called Our Lively Tribe. They do renovations of like newish fifth wheels and things like that. Spruce them up and make them look a little more contemporary. Not to say that fifth wheels don't look contemporary, but they have a certain style. And uh, the style that Our Lively Tribe kind of remodels them into is more, you know, kind of the style that you see in um, homes these days. <music> So I hope you enjoyed our faux tile backsplash creation this week. Uh, I know I had uh, a lot of fun doing it and um, yeah, I'm happy with how it turned out. Now I'm sure some of you are wondering, wouldn't it have been quicker and easier to just do an actual tile backsplash? All right, well, new videos come out every Sunday. So make sure and like and subscribe and I'll see you next week.